All right, guys, so honestly, I thought this was kind of lame, but as of right now, 88 people, 88% 88 of people say they would watch a garage tour. So new apartment, new garage, step inside, check it out. So it is just another garage at an apartment. So not like it's anything too fancy, nothing too big when we set down my drink here. But we got both bikes, of course, and um, something new for you guys. I was talking about names, White Lightning. I just wasn't feeling that. It was between Casper and Yeti, and uh, I think we're gonna declare it. This is Yeti. The bike is now called Yeti. I know some of you want di wanted different names, but I think that's super sweet. So the garage is pretty, pretty self-explanatory. I just hung up these. I know like uh, a fifth place at Arena Cross is nothing spectacular, but um, just cool to support the local races and stuff, and I think it's just I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool. We got the um, temperature here so we can always see just how blistering hot it is in the garage. Of course, from Heckman, he made this out of a solid block of wood. Absolutely love that. So hung it up kind of as the center of uh, the art piece of wall here. Then over on this wall, I just have some different number plates. The Brock Tickle one, my mom actually won on uh, RMX Fantasy Supercross um, a while ago, signed and everything. Then got my old one from the 125 before the restyle kit. My buddy Evan Kogler's Kogler industry on my bike. My old 125 bar pad that stopped sticking. The Velcro stopped sticking, so I don't run that anymore because it'll fall off on the track and I don't want to lose it. And then Vince Freeze from my buddy John, who was Vince's mechanic a while ago. Um, that's pretty cool from, I think that's from Utah, has the dirt on it and everything. So we got some storage here. It seems like it's a little bit crazy but this whole part here is camping stuff we've got sleeping bags um this is actually a tent sleeping mat fire starters emergency blanket and our grill is behind there so if we decided to go camping this weekend we just pretty much grab everything out of here and essentially be good to go and behind me here simply the gear bag and all of the gear if you guys know i uh, have a few gear choices here so all the gear never hurts and so we can load up the gear bag right here pick which gear we want which goggles we want to go with for the day of course i still have some old red ski plastics which uh reminds me the front number plate i'm going to be doing a giveaway on patreon so that'll happen in just a second i made quick mention of the front number plate being given away on patreon so i'm going to select the winner now so what i've done i typed up all the patreons i'm copying and pasting their names into a random list we're going to submit so now the list has been randomized. We're gonna copy that over into Excel. So you can see we have 28 entries and we're going to put into random.org one, two, 28. Hit generate, whoever the number is, is the winner. 28, all right, so that's gonna go to Donald Gingersnap, Gingersnap Racing. Um, he has a awesome YouTube channel where he rides a KTM two-stroke. I think he's getting a 150, but he has a 250. Anyway, um, congratulations, Donald. Uh, you guys saw, just real random. So I'll get this in the mail and sent out your way. So if you guys wanna check out Patreon, I want to do more giveaways. I have so much gear right now. I need to get rid of some of it. Something that might do some Jersey giveaways there. And of course, you're just supporting the channel. So patreon.com slash do if you're interested in that but um anyways let's uh get back to the video and from there we have uh the stock plastics that actually came on the honda for whenever i get rid of it i'm going to put those back on it so it looks like it's it almost never been ridden it i think those have like two or three rides on them and then just like christmas uh, ornaments and stocking stuff and like the christmas tree is over here my uh stock 450 wheels that are back there wheels and tires I'm thinking if I ever want to go trail riding, that still has a sprocket, they still have rotors on them, it'd be an easy switch just in case I'm doing some rocky trails, I don't tear up the warp nines. Going around here, of course, we just have our normal uh, shelf. So we have just the normal tools, uh, air filters, we have like our fork tools, um, I don't even know, grip glue, all that kind of stuff. Got our pork wrench for the spokes, all the no-toil stuff, I have oil filters here different, you know, my Frontier oil that I run, you know, <laughs> got that, um, got some like two stroke oil and stuff for when we're ripping the 125, all that kind of stuff is up around there. We have the Dio's Case Life Crunch that um, Josh the Giraffe made me forever ago. 
Um, really cool. That's just something I've hung on to because I think that's super sweet. And of course the Wheaties box um, had to represent just, I thought it was cool. Um, this light, I'm planning to get a new light for the garage. It's hopefully gonna illuminate the whole thing, but this is if I need some super bright spotlight on something. But the lights in here are actually pretty good, but I bought a new one that should be here shortly. And moving on just to this table, we have our track attack, which um, you know has fallen apart because we haven't been riding, but I would love to continue that. Um, obviously restart it when, uh, when I'm back on the bike, but I have some bikes lined up that some buddies have said I could ride. So track attack will be happening. And then just uh, you know, kind of my tire changing station, the um, Fort Guard from Old Red Ski. Like I told you guys, I need to put the whole shot device onto Yeti, so. Uh, I just have that stuff so when I get the drill bit I can easily do it and this whole time we've been walking around the inversion table I actually got this on Facebook marketplace when I had those herniated discs in my back to kind of stretch out my neck and decompress the spine and uh, I, I like it a lot it takes up a lot of room unfortunately this isn't a model that folds totally flat it only folds like I don't know I don't want to show you but it doesn't stow away easily so it's just kind of here for now don't totally love it but it's better here than up in the apartment so uh, I still sometimes use this when my back is hurting, which uh, is more than I'd like it to. Then as we roll around back to the front of the garage, this is not that I'm riding it. Um, I'm sure some of you are wondering. Wrist is still jacked up to have the plate in there. That uh, surgery is September 16th. Today is September 1st, so 15 days away. Very excited for that. But um, when I get back riding, this is essentially stuff that I need to throw in the truck right away. Not the hammer. I was using that for Whoops, I was using that for all that, but got my chairs, got my bike thing for the forks, and then just, you know, all the stuff I bring to the track, T-handles, Allen wrenches, um, chain lube, all that kind of stuff. So everything's there, and then of course the bed extender for my truck is just right here, easy to grab and throw into the truck when it's time to go ride. We have the bicycle pump because it works well for the dirt bikes if we just need to pump it up. You know, if they're at 10 PSI and we need to get them up to 13, super easy with the bike pump. And I also use it almost daily for the mongoose. You can see it needs that on the rear tire. Um, with the new apartment, my job is only just about a mile away. So I've actually been riding the mongoose to work, which is awesome. Um, it's not a very fancy bike, it's a Walmart special. Um, and I just ride on the sidewalk and actually when I hit bumps I ride one-handed because it hurts my wrist to like hit the bump So I just lift it up and hit a bump real quick, but um, Nice and leisurely ride. I'm not trying to break any king of the mountain records on Strava on it or anything But super nice way to jet around here and again talking about the heat that's in here All I have is this little box fan. I thought about getting another fan But I don't really spend a lot of time down here currently at least so we can just turn this on put it here get a little bit of uh, airflow going and then back behind here I have my actual air compressor that Evan got me so that's great if I need to like blow something off or if I'm mounting a tire I'm gonna be like airing it up um, deflating it airing it up again a lot of that I can just plug that in right here zip it up real easily and finally the other side here is just a few more things for the track of course to load the bike gas can stand and my toolbox and like over there we have Murphy's kettle and stuff and then this is just waste oil for my oil changes so pretty much everything in the garage huh I really like it the only bummer compared to the old place the old place had the rafters up top so you could slide some plywood up there and then have storage up top I do miss that but that's why we got the shelving unit so everything's a little bit more cramped but overall I think it worked out pretty well and uh, I was telling Allison as much as I love both bikes it would actually be kind of nice to just have one bike just right in the middle so I could work around it but I guess it's worth it to have the two bikes but we we make it work and uh when time comes if I need to be doing something to Yeti I can just move the Y Zinger out of the way completely and work on it and vice versa so we'll make it work out but uh, I think that's going to do it for our little garage tour I call it a tour because it's a one car garage what what really is there to tour um, and then if you want to come in, one last thing, if you guys watched Jeff Walker's last video, a lot of uh, people are doing the works connection where they can have a laser engraved um, cylinder cover, whatever that's considered. Um, I might need to do something like that, get a little DO, take it easy or something. So we'll look into that and see what that would run us. But that's going to do it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed checking out the garage. And uh, as always, until next time, take it easy. It's easy. Take it twice. Talk to you later.
We were just finishing up the video and I pointed to the take it easy on my front fender for Allison to zoom in on. And then I realized my factory mechanic, my dad, he put my uh, little bracket upside down. So ride engineering is upside down. <laughs> we might, uh, I guess we should probably flip that over real quick and get that handled.